Hey, welcome. If you're new here, I create videos to help you make the most of a small wardrobe. Putting together a capsule wardrobe every season has really helped me just learn how to extend the items in my closet and also be more intent with the purchases that I do make. I really love putting together like mini capsule wardrobes, like five or six pieces to either test new styles or also to just test new pieces that I have in my closet. Today I have a mini capsule wardrobe and I'm using this as an example to show you all some tips on how to start a capsule wardrobe. Basically like a beginner friendly capsule wardrobe and this I think will be great for those of you just starting off with a more minimalist approach towards your wardrobe or those of you who kind of want to experiment with the idea of a capsule wardrobe. Hopefully these tips can help you create a more functional wardrobe and let's just dive into the tips as well as the outfits and how I plan to style each piece. The first pieces of this mini capsule wardrobe are a simple t-shirt and denim combination. Now I've kept it quite general with the t-shirt and denim because my first tip would be just to tailor your capsule wardrobe for your style and lifestyle. So your particular denim and t-shirt combination may be a denim skirt in a white t-shirt or mom jeans in a black t-shirt. I've gone for a striped tee because I wanted to add some pattern to this capsule and a pair of skinny jeans. I find skinny jeans really easy to dress up and down. Both of these pieces are from the brand Mottenbow. I've talked a lot about them. They really have a nice selection of what they call elevated basics and I do think it's worth the investment. With these two pieces, I'll show you all two different examples. I can create a bunch of different outfits just by changing my accessories, which kind of goes into the next tip, and that is to use your accessories to extend the items in your capsule wardrobe. So as you can see with the t-shirt and jeans, I was able to create a casual and a dressy look just by swapping out my accessories. Instead of sneakers, I did heels, maybe a fancier bag, maybe swapping out longer earrings instead of studs for a more nighttime look. So your accessories can take your basic pieces really far. In fact, this is actually why I've done videos on my minimalist shoe collection and bag collection because with the pieces that I have in those videos, I'm actually able to extend my wardrobe with just a small selection of accessories. So I'm going to link those in the description bar and like in the eye on the top here so you can watch those after. The next essential is this dress slash cardigan and that goes into my next tip which is to add some versatile pieces to your capsule wardrobe. Pieces that you can wear multiple ways and basically you're able to create a bunch of different outfits with just one one piece. With versatile pieces, you can create different outfit combinations without necessarily adding more items to your wardrobe. And I love pieces like these. I think they're gold for capsule wardrobes. So with this dress, I can button it through all the way for a dress or I can unbutton it so it turns into a cardigan. And you don't necessarily have to go and shop for pieces that are like versatile. What you can do is actually shop your closet ask yourself, can I wear something a different way to create a new look? Whether it's maybe wearing a shirt backwards or maybe it's unbuttoning a shirt that you have so you can wear it as more like an outerwear. So get creative with the items that you already have in your closet. The next item that I have is this red rose pleated skirt, which goes into my fourth tip and that is to inject some color into your wardrobe by balancing out your colors in neutrals. Usually with my capsule wardrobes, I stick to a color palette of three neutrals and then one to two accent colors and this allows me to add some color to my wardrobe a lot of people think that with capsule wardrobes and a minimalist wardrobe you have to only have neutrals but I love color and I love being able to showcase it in my wardrobes and following this color palette allows me to do so with my wardrobe still being functional and mix being able to like mix and match the pieces so in this capsule wardrobe, I have black, white, and then like the navy blue of the jeans as my neutral colors, and then I've added in this red rose color. Sometimes my accent color is actually another neutral color. For example, in my fall capsule wardrobe that I did a few weeks ago, it was actually on neutrals, and then my accent color just happened to be like a brown tan color. You don't always have to do this, but sometimes I still love the idea of working with the on neutral palette and just mixing up the textures and patterns, which will actually be the next tip. But anyway, another thing that this skirt shows is that you can still show your personality in a capsule wardrobe, which is my next tip and that is to inject 
fun pieces to really showcase your personal style and personality. Don't think that your capsule wardrobe has to be a bunch of boring basics. Once again, it's all about balance. So I obviously have more basic items in simple colors that make my wardrobe functional. But then I've added a fun piece that really speaks to my style. It's got this really cute feminine style going on. And then it's also modest. So it's definitely more of my style and it goes well with the basic items. It works well with the wardrobe that I already have. And I'm really able to express my personality even with a smaller wardrobe. The next item is a satin lace camisole, and I got this from Abercrombie & Fitch. I really love it. Now, a nice modest alternative for this may be a silk or satin button-down top, but the key to this piece is actually the texture, which goes into the next tip, and that is to add some variety to your capsule wardrobe by either mixing up the textures, patterns, or colors. It's really easy with a small selection of items to just have the same fabrics, the same patterns, and it can get really boring, but you can still have variety in your wardrobe, even with a smaller set of items. And one way you can do this is through textures. So whether that's adding some leather or maybe knitwear, in this case, I have satin, it really makes your wardrobe more interesting and not so one dimensional. In fact, this top also helps make a lot of my outfits more dressy. I could wear it with the jeans and the heels for like, a night outlook or I can wear it with the skirt for a feminine like um, romantic look so it's much more interesting than just a plain black tee because of the texture but it's still just as versatile next we have the infamous drapey trench coat if you followed my channel for a while then you know how much I love this jacket it's one of my favorite outerwear pieces and my last tip for this video was would be to invest or add outerwear that can go over all your outfits I really like how how this just once again brings in that accent color of the red rose into my wardrobe. Usually with my color palettes, I try to inject the accent color a few times in different items of my wardrobe. So I've even done it even with just six items. But this jacket can be worn over all the outfits. Like it even goes well with the skirt. I can wear it over the jeans, over the dress. So you want an outerwear piece that can be worn over everything. Usually that means that it is a neutral color, but on the flip side, you could have all neutral pieces and then your outerwear piece is the statement piece, is the accent color, because everything else was neutral. An outerwear piece can also add some, once again, dimension into your outfits and really serve as a great layering piece to mix and match the pieces that you already have. So with these six items, I was able to create a bunch of different outfits. In fact, on my blog, the blog post that went with this video, I did make a little collage of all the outfits I was able to create with these six items, just so you could see like a nice overview of how I actually mixed and matched the pieces. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description bar below. Thanks so much for watching, and I really hope that this video, at least one of the tips, can help you create a more functional wardrobe, even with a smaller amount of clothes. Don't forget to subscribe for more Capsule Wardrobe content, and I will see you all next week.